The influence of extraordinary new images on television was the starting point for Paul Fryer's model bedroom. There have obviously been a few rooms in my childhood, but I chose the one that I remembered earliest, really. Probably the biggest feature in the room was my big cardboard carton that used to have a washing machine in it, but that I made a spacecraft cabin inside it. I was kind of obsessed with all that. I put my brother in there once and uh, subjected him to a meteorite storm using darts as meteorites, and uh, he's never forgiven me, actually, I don't think. And uh, seriously, I don't think he has. <laughs> it was the late 60s, and the Apollo programme was in full swing, and uh, Captain Scarlet was on the TV, Star Trek was in its first season, Doctor Who. I used to make quite a lot of weapons and models, and I loved plasticine. I was always making plasticine things and drawing. So for me, it was always a central part of my being as a, as a child. In my circumstances, it wasn't that we weren't loved, but there was a lot of pressure and it didn't always... You know, sometimes we were the brunt of it. And so for me, I suppose my creativity was an escape and... Uh, not just to escape, it was a world where I could go, actually. To escape seems to suggest that it was an act of desperation in some way, but it wasn't. It was a door through which I walked where I was kind of... It was my world. I could do what I wanted there, and uh, nobody could touch me while I was doing that. You weave with the threads that you've got, don't you? I mean, you can pick up new ones, but... It's, it's all there, you know, it's, it, it's all part of me. And as an artist, you, you have to at least try and be honest. <laughs> 